I've been coding for over 12 years, and if I were starting today, I would do it very differently. The tools are smarter, thank you AI, the resources are better, but the confusion still very real. If you're overwhelmed, stuck, or unsure whether to start with HTML, JavaScript, Python, or any other programming language, this video is for you. Here's the truth, you don't have a learning problem. You're not stupid, you just don't have a clear path. What you need is a step-by-step -step plan, what to learn and how to learn it. 12 years ago, I was bouncing between random blog posts and half-broken tutorials, praying I will not fry my laptop. By the way, I'm Pete and I've been a professional programmer since 2012. Now, I help thousands of new devs skip the noise and actually make progress. In this video, I will show you how. By the end, you won't just know where to start, you will know how to keep going, which is the most important. But first, let's talk about why you're confused and why it's not your fault. You're not lazy, you're not slow, and you're definitely not alone. You're confused because learning to code doesn't feel simple. It feels like trying to read five books at the same time, while everyone's shouting, learn React in your ears. There's a million tutorials. Everyone says something different. And now, with AI tools popping up everywhere, it feels like you're already behind before you even start. By the time you finish one video, three new tools and two new AI platforms have already come out. Sound familiar? Welcome to learning code in 2025. The truth is, you're not just learning code, you're learning how to learn code in a world that's changing faster that you can Google the error message. And most of the content out there, it's either too basic, too advanced, or it assumes you already know what a terminal is. So what happens? You binge tutorials, you follow along with copy-paste, but you feel like you're not really learning anything. That feeling has a name. It's called tutorial hell. It's where motivation disappears and you don't even notice you're stuck until months have gone by and you still can't build anything on your own. But here's the good news. It's not permanent. And once you understand why this happens, you can finally break free and start learning the right way in a way that actually works for you. Oh, and yes, we will talk about how AI can actually help and not hurt. But first, where the heck do you actually start? Start with why, not with the language. Before you worry about which programming language to learn, ask yourself one thing. Why do you want to learn to code? Sounds simple, but to be honest, it's a game changer question. Do you want to build websites and web applications like the website version of YouTube, Spotify, Netflix, Facebook, etc.? Do you want to get a remote job and earn a lot of money? Do you want to automate boring tasks? Do you want to start freelancing and perhaps create your own little or big agency? Do you just want to get into tech somehow but you're not sure how? Your answer should guide your path and not some random Reddit thread telling you JavaScript is life. So here's a simple way to look at it. If you want to build websites or become a web developer, you will want to go with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. This is the core of web development. Learning this will take you far. You will later move into things like React, Git, and maybe even backend tools. If you're more interested in automating, scripting, or data stuff, just start with Python. It's clean, beginner-friendly, and used in everything from AI to automating daily tasks. You can use it to scrape websites, analyze data, or build simple tools fast. If you want to build games or understand how things work behind the scenes, then you will probably want to explore C++, Java, or C Sharp. This path is for people who love solving complex problems, building things from scratch, or are just obsessed with how games, engines, or systems actually work. It's a tougher path, yes, but if you're into games, performance, or engineering level thinking, it might be the most exciting one. Now the mistake most beginners make. They jump into a language without knowing what they want to do with it. They just hear somewhere that, hey, you should learn Java, it's the best. No offense to my Java devs friends out there. But that's like booking a plane ticket before knowing where you're going just because someone told you to do it. So take a moment and be honest with yourself. What do you want out of coding? The clearer your why, the easier it is to choose the right what. And don't worry, I will show you the three paths and how to get started with each one, step by step. But first, let's build your roadmap. Because once you know what to learn, the next question is how to actually learn it without wasting time and burning out. The real roadmap. Choose your path. All right, so you figure out why you want to learn to code. Now let's talk about what to learn and in what order. Because here's the thing. There is no single correct path, but there is a smart one. 
one that avoids burnout, tutorial hell, and I've been learning for a year and still can't build anything syndrome. Let's look at three common beginner paths and I will show you what to learn first based on what you want to do with code. To keep things simple, I've broken it down into three beginner-friendly paths, so feel free to skip to the path you're interested into. Pick the one that fits your goals, and if you want the full breakdown, I've put together a free PDF roadmap for each one. You will find them in the description below. Path 1. Web Development If you want to build websites, portfolios, or full-blown web apps, this is the most popular path. You will start with HTML and CSS to build and style the basic structure of web pages. Then you will learn JavaScript to make your sites interactive, like buttons that do things, dropdowns, forms, animations, all that kind of stuff. Then you will build a few mini projects like a to-do list, a calculator, or even your personal portfolio. From there, you will learn things like Git and GitHub to save and share your code, DOM manipulation to make your website respond to users in real time, and eventually tools like React, Vue, or Node.js to take your skills full stack. If you've ever dreamed of making something like Spotify, Twitter, or your own personal website, this is for you. Path number two, Python. Automation, scripting, or data. Want to automate boring tasks, work with data, or just get started with something beginner friendly? Python is clean, simple, and super powerful. You will start with the basics, build small tools like password generators or quiz apps, and then dive into things like automation scripts, data analysis, or even Python web development with Flask or Django. It's the most flexible path if you're still figuring out where you want to go. Path number three, game dev or low level, C++, Java, etc. If you're more into building games or want to understand how things work under the hood, this is the most advanced path, but also the most fun if you love challenges. You will work with languages like C++, Java, or C Sharp with Unity for game development. From 2D games to console apps to exploring engines like Unity or Unreal, this one is for the builders, tinkerers, and problem solvers. Not sure yet? Start simple. If you're unsure where to begin, my suggestion is to start with basic web development or Python. They are easy to pick up, in high demand, and they give you a solid foundation for any direction later on. And again, all of this is broken down in simple step-by-step -step PDFs for each path. You will find the link in the description below. It's free for you. Print it, bookmark it, stick it on your wall. Next, let's talk about something that destroys more learning journeys than anything else. Burnout. Let's see how to avoid it. How to learn properly. Let's be real. This is the part nobody talks about. Not enough people quit coding because it's too hard, they quit because they burn out. You're constantly jumping between tutorials, you feel like you're not making progress, and suddenly you're tired, frustrated, and doubting whether this was a good idea in the first place. Sounds familiar? Now, why burnout happens? It's not just information overload, it's directionless learning. When you're constantly watching new tutorials, switching topics, or trying to do too much too fast, your brain never gets the chance to digest anything. It's like trying to build a house by buying new tools every day, but never actually laying bricks. The result? You end up with a bunch of bookmarks, half-finished projects, and a deep feeling of, I suck at this. You don't. You just need to change how you learn. Now, how to learn smart, not just hard. Here's a system that actually works and keeps you motivated. Number one, learn a concept, build something with it immediately, and don't just watch apply. Even if it's small, make something with it. Watch the tutorial on loops, make a mini quiz. Learned about functions, build a simple calculator. This is where 80% of your real learning happens. Number two, stick to one resource at a time. Jumping between six different YouTubers or 12 Udemy courses will not help you learn faster. It will just confuse you more. Pick one and follow it through. You can always explore others later once you've finished and built something. Number three, Make peace with not understanding everything right away. You won't get it all on the first try, and that's normal. If you understood if loops perfectly the first time, you might actually be a wizard. The rest of us have to struggle through it, take breaks, and come back to it. And that's okay. Number four, track progress with wins, not perfection. Stop waiting until your project is perfect before you count it as a success. Did you make a working button today? That's a win. Did you wrote your first for loop? Huge win. Did you push your code to GitHub? You're a superstar. Progress is measured in small victories 
and not perfect portfolios. Use AI to help you and not replace you. AI tools like ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot are here to assist you. Think of them like a senior dev whispering hints in your ear, not someone doing the entire job for you. You can use AI to debug errors, explain confusing code or topics, brainstorm project ideas, break down documentation, and most importantly, ask stupid questions without judgment. But remember, don't rely on it for everything. Let it teach you, not carry you. Learning to code is not a race, it's a craft. And the more sustainable your learning habits, the longer you will stay in the game. Next up, let's talk about what you should avoid, the common traps that make beginners give up, and how to skip them entirely. From confused to confident, my advice to you. So here you are, you've made it this far, which already puts you ahead of most people who never get past Googling how to learn coding. Let me be real with you. Learning to code isn't about being a genius. It's about being consistent when it's not easy and forgiving yourself when you feel stuck. Because the truth is, everyone feels stuck sometimes. Even devs with years of experience still hit bugs, blank screens, and those I have no idea what I'm doing moments. But here's the difference. The ones who make it, they don't quit. Here's what I wish someone told me when I started. Number one, you don't need to know everything, you just need to know enough to build something small. Then something a little bigger, and that's it. Stack wins, no tutorials. Number two, don't chase 10 skills at once. Master one step, build with it, and move on. Trying to learn React, Tailwind, APIs, and TypeScript all at once, that's a recipe for burnout and not progress. Number three, stop waiting until you're ready. You will never feel ready. You learn the most while building and not before. Start ugly, improve later. Number four, feeling like an imposter is normal. That voice in your head saying you're not cut out for this, every dev hears it, even the pros. It doesn't mean you're not good enough, it means you're growing. Number five, you are already doing better than you think. The fact that you're watching this, thinking about your learning path and caring enough to improve, that already puts you way ahead of the average scroller. And remember, the tech world is changing fast, but so are you. You've got smarter tools, more access, and more support than any generation of learners before you. The only thing missing, action. So take that next step, build something tiny, use the PDF roadmaps, start where you are with what you've got. You don't need to learn it all, you just need to start. You don't need the perfect path, just a realistic one. So there you go. You don't need to learn everything, you just need to pick a path take the next step and start building. Whether it's web dev, Python, or game development, what matters most is that you do something with what you learn, even if it's small, even if it's ugly. Because every developer you admire, they started exactly where you are right now. Goofy projects, broken code, copy pasting stuff they didn't understand, the difference is they kept going. And you can too. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you must check this one. Now, drop a comment. Are you team Python, team JavaScript, or maybe team still figuring it out? Tell me where you're at, and I will help you map out your next step in the replies. Grab the free roadmap PDFs, want all this organized in a simple step-by-step -step format, links are in the description, no spam, no catch, just pure dev nerd generosity. If this helped you, like this video, subscribe if you want more real talk coding guidance, or just say hi in the comments. I read every single one of them. Now, thanks for watching you legend. I'm Pete and I'll see you on the next one. Unless AI replaces me first, in which case I will probably be watching with you.